Hello, I'm Schnapps, and I'm here with part two of the DVD update. I realized I didn't organize my movies into an even uh, part, so this one will go over 15 minutes, no doubt. And I failed to mention in the last video, I'm still sick, and I'm also tired. I only had three hours of sleep in the past... 16 hours I think 16 almost 24 hours but I'm pretty tired so and sick so I'm just gonna continue making the video so let's start here um I got the George uh, please forgive me for my pronunciation of his last name George Milis the first Wizard of Cinema, 1896 to 1913. That was his, like, reign in the cinema. In the not cinema. In the movie industry. Now, when I got this, um, it came in a pretty bad quality. Like, stuff are cracked and all over. The DVDs are fine. It's just the cases. So, when I have some more money, I might buy new, um box a new set of this at least I haven't matched them yet but I should get to that I got life after people this is a TV show basically about life after people I liked it I liked it when I was young and I, I'm not sure if any of you guys heard this game before but it was a game called Roblox I made a map based off of this show, and it was my most famous map until I accidentally removed it from public use, and um, I don't recall my account, so, yeah. It was a fun game until you had to start, start paying for a lot of stuff, and there was a bunch of hackers later on, but let's move on. I got Howell's Moving Castle. I think I've seen it before. I don't recall. I got Aladdin. Um, some of my friends criticized me about not seeing these movies. I've seen the play on the Disney cruise ship, just not the movie. So I might see that in a little bit. Not today, but oh yeah, this video was made right, is made right after part one. I got Aladdin and the Kings of Thieves, and the King of Thieves, which is a sequel, straight to video sequel, like the majority of Disney sequel movies. Um. Yeah, I still have them in the box, like last video. Then I got Aladdin, The Return of Jafar. I sorry, I can't pronounce his name. Never seen the movie. Seen the play, but don't recall how to pronounce his name. Sorry for talking a little too fast, and if I stumbled upon my words, because that usually happens when I talk too fast. And so I it probably went like blah, 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 as I was talking. I would talk a little bit slower, but. I, have, I I can't pronounce his name. This is the third movie. I got Drill Killer. Now it might look like some sketchy film, but it's actually not rated, and it's the uncut version. And it's a, well, it's a movie that was judged by its cover, which you're not supposed to, by a whole country, or the um, one part of the whole country. But anyways, I will explain that movie in a different video. 
I, I'm, I'm gonna ratch this. I got it because I ratched the cinema snob. I was interested in it. It's public domain also, so... Yeah. And I got... Manos, The Hands of Fate. Haven't seen it yet. Looking forward to it, even though... It's one of the worst movies of all time. I got Pulp Fiction. I love this movie. Seen it twice, I believe. I think. I got Tower of Terror. I got this movie right after my cruise ship visit. Oh yeah, I still have these go over my merchandise that I got for my cruise ship. Which I was supposed to do a video about that. Six, eight months ago. Um, Dead or Alive Blockbuster case. That's why I picked it. Everyone knows how much I love Blockbuster. Blah! Miami Connection. Magic Kingdom Imagineering the Magic. Um, if you get this online, it's like three times or it's double or three times as well as cost as if you got it from a Disney store down in Disney World or any Disney place. So I decided to get it there. I checked myself. It was cheaper to buy from the store. And I checked on Amazon. That's the first place I checked. The Book Thief. Um, oh crap, okay, oh sorry for my language of saying the crap word, oh JK, then I got Godzilla on Monster Island, which is, oh yeah, I, th I thought it was a different, f vid bleh, I thought it was a different movie for a minute, and like, I thought it was the Knife Godzilla film for a minute, even though it's not, I like Godzilla, no matter what. Some people say that, like a lot of people say the movies are bad. And stuff. And also, it, since it's been a long time since I did a DVD update, I'm not sure if I covered some of these movies before. If so, then I did. If... It's better to be, it's better to be safe than sorry. Then I got 42. Jackie Robinson story. Um, I got Kick Ass. I think I got the sequel. I'm not sure. That's why I said I. I'm not sure if I went over this movie before. So that's why I said I'm not sure if I repeat this and expect to be safe and sorry. Okay, time to continue. I got Robot Monster. An intriguing 2D. Incredible, unbelievable, told in the Untamed Ray. Robot Monster, one of the worst movies to ever scrape the face of cinema. Then I got The Little Shop of Horrors with Jack Nicholson. This is not the musical. I want to get the musical also on Blu-ray, but I got this one also. I don't get the Blu-ray. I, do, I don't get the remake, the musical one, but I kind of want to get that. I got the sent two, part two. Spoiler alert in case you haven't seen The Descent. Then I got The, De the Descent. Me and my friends like that movie for guilty pleasure. Then I got the whole story of Trek. The, the bleh. The, gotta stop stumbling over my words. But th this is doesn't include like any of these specials. If it does, it's just like two, I think. My brother binge watched this when we were going to the Upper Peninsula of Michigan. But it has Shrek, Shrek 2, 
three and four. I kind of wanted to get the little holiday specials to go along with it. Sorry, I just gotta move this pile since I have a lot more to talk about. Oh crap. Oh. I'm gonna trip backwards since. Oh, never mind. I got. 300, The Rise of an Empire, haven't seen it. I got this at Family Video, which that's why it's low cost. I got Unbroken, I haven't read the book. Um, my military history teacher said the book is better. I'm not sure, so I'm gonna probably read the book before I see the movie. But if I do that, then I will always go with the book. So I'm I'm not sure. I might see the movie before the book. And I got The Great Storm of 1913, which is a small independent documentary about um The Great Storm of 1913. I got this when I was up at the GP at the Shipwreck Museum. And if you don't know about the Great Lakes, the Great Lakes are one of the most dangerous lakes. The Lake Superior, I believe, is the most dangerous one. Um, if just in this tiny area where my finger is, it has like 50 or so shipwrecks in it. Since the lakes are a little unpredictable and have extreme weather during the time. There was other documentaries, but I got that one since... I didn't know about the Great Storm of 1913. Then I got the interview. I've seen it on Netflix. Everyone remembers the controversial part of this movie. And Harvey almost went into World War III because of James Franco and Seth, and Seth Rogen. I enjoyed the movie though. Then I got the little panda fighter. The angriest man in Brooklyn. I got this because of Peter Dinklage. I know who, everyone knows who Robin William is. Um, she plays, uh, I don't recall her name, but she was in the 70s show. I, yeah, and he's in Games of Thrones and had a cameo in Elf. I have no clue who she is. Oh, I haven't heard of her. I think I've heard of her, but not as much as some other people. Then I got Nightcrawler. Then I got Dinosaur 13. Um, which is about the 13th Tyrannosaurus Rex to be discovered. And it was historic because I think it was the 13th one. It probably is because of Dinosaur 13's in his title. Title, but it had like the most complete skeleton that had been found so far. I think there was another one that came later, but I'm not sure. Then against the sun, this is basically um this um. Uh, it's basically the movie Unbroken because it is. It's the same true story. I think. Don't quote me on that. But. Um, then I got a box set from FYE, which is Twisted Terror, Terror Collection. This is Eye of a Strange, Deadly Friend, from, from Beyond the Grave, Some, Someone's Watching Me, Dr. Giggles in the Hand. I heard of Dr. Giggles, but I haven't heard of the rest. Then I got Enemies at the Gate, which I got at a 
Ann Arbor Art Festival at a bookstore. Harold and Mardi, I can't pronounce the names, sorry for that, but my mom got it for me at FIE. Got the incredible Mr. Limpet. Um, when I, just a couple minutes ago when I saw this title, I thought it was the incredible implant. I don't know why I thought of that, but I did. So I can't get that out of my head now. Then I got Goosebumps, the blob that ate everyone. I haven't seen the Goosebumps movie that came out in October, I believe. Aside for that unfocus, but I got this. Then I got the most legendary film of all time, Food Fight. I said in my B movie reveal that I was going to reveal this movie. Never got to it. Going to reveal it next week, I believe. So, that's about it for my movie reveal. Sorry for stumbling over my boards. I'm going to try better next time, but if I took my time and sniffed the flowers, this video would have been about 25 minutes long. So, I hope you have a nice day, and bye.